Hello Pisces, this is Gypsy Spirit here with you, ready to do your tarot reading for the week of uh, January 28th through February 3rd, and 2024, and I've already pulled your cards out and your oracle cards. Just want to say this is a general reading, so some of it may uh, resonate with you, some of it may not. What resonates, hang on if you wish, and what doesn't resonate, let go of it. Um, also, if you want your own personal reading, we'll get to that at the end of the video. But, you know, uh, I want to go ahead and get started. Uh, uh, Pisces, last week we did a, your reading and it was about you healing, that you, you were receiving some healing. But this week, your cards, there is going to get some, there's some sort of conflict that you've been dealing with, something that has really uh, hurt you on many levels. Uh, and just real conflict for, for some of you, I feel like there's been a divorce or a loss of something, uh, that has created a conflict and, um, oh, this is, <clears throat> I mean, the energy here is really heavy when I, you know, looking in these cards, but you know, your map card is about movement. And I, I really like this card. Somebody else, some other, another zodiac sign uh, got this same card. But, um, you know, it it's an ostrich. Ostriches are very powerful, strong animals, birds. Um, and, yeah, you've been sludging through the mud, the dirt, um, trying to find your way, trying to get clarity. And, and it's been hard because it's it's almost like you're trying to, to um, you've sunk down into the mud and you're trying to move through it. But there has been some movement. You know, like last week we in the reading, I, I could see where there was some healing. So there has been some movement, a little bit of clarity. But it's almost like you're just coming out of the fog and, and trying to get your bearings here. Uh, we have the Hierophant card, which is a major card, but is in reverse. And it's telling me that, you know, you're more planted, planted, I'm planted. Uh, you're more planted on the chaos that's going on on this planet and the world around you. I always say that, that living on this planet is very difficult to do. Um, and we go through a lot of challenges and some of them are just so heartbreaking. Okay. Something just came to me. There was a death, um, a, a death of a family member or child. Um, so I'm getting some download here, uh, which has been happening to me all through my readings today. <laughs> um, so I may skip around, uh, you know, because I, I get a download on something. Uh, but yeah, there's, uh, uh, Pisces, uh, for, for many of you Pisces, again, this is a general reading. There has been a loss of something, uh, a divorce or marriage, um, a breakup. But I also feel very strongly that there's been a loss of a child or uh, somebody that was that you, you, you held very dearly. Um, and so it's been like hard just to move, you know, even to get out of bed and you're sludging through the mud. Yeah, you know, this is what we have in the movement card. Um, but you're strong. Again, the ostrich is a very, very strong uh, creature. So you're trying to rise above so that you can see. But the problem is, is you're looking at it more on the uh, earthly, uh, things of the, the, the earthly plane, um, the physical plane and not paying more attention to the spiritual plane. So, um, and that can cause a problem because what's, what's on the physical plane many times is just an illusion. I mean, it's, it, it, our ego gets in the way and, um, you just, you're, it's almost like you're so stuck in this way of thinking and, uh, your behavior patterns of, of your thoughts, how they process, um, things that you may do be doing, not making the changes that you need to make so that you can move forward because you're stuck, you know, it, you're, it's very slowly, but again, you're being advised to continue 
to move. Just get out of that bed, you know, or a friend will ask you to go have coffee or go to a movie or something. Go, go, even if you don't feel like it, go. Um, and, and start removing yourself out of the thoughts that you've been trapped in on this earthly plane, on this physical plane. Start moving yourself more onto the spiritual plane. Uh, if it means going to church or going to spiritual meetings or finding yourself a spiritual guru or something, by all means, because it's whatever's going on here in the earthly plane, it's not working for you. You've got to start listening to your higher. This is the higher friend card. So there's a lot of spiritual guidance for you um, that you got to listen to it. And again, you, you got the, I mean, this makes all sense. The chariot card is in reverse, stuck in a rut, stuck in um, the, 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 the um, thought process, the um, being in that comfort zone. You know, I, I know somebody who lost a couple of people that were very dear to her. And um, there have been times I've tried to invite her out and she ain't going nowhere. She's in her pajamas. She's in her bed. She's not going anywhere. And um, th there have been times that I have been able to get her to go out. And it's those times that she feels, you know, she just has a great time and it, it lifts her up. So like I said, if people are inviting you to go out, uh, do something, then go do it. They know that you're sad. You know you're sad. And, you know, the people that are closest to you, they know what that you're sad and that your heart has been broken. But you you got to make the effort. To, because in making that effort, uh, we come to the next card, the Ace of Swords. So in making the effort, uh, which helps you in healing, it also gives you clarity. Uh, so this is what we're looking for is clarity. And again, in movement, you know, clarity, even if it means just, you know, taking a walk, um, just get out and do something for 20 minutes. Your next card, your flower card, the yellow rose. Yes. Um, it's, it says balance, work, rest, and play. It's important for you to have fun along with fulfilling your responsibilities. So yes, do not allow yourself to be trapped because once you do, and, and when you're not listening to that, uh, your higher divine are connect, making that spiritual, spirit, yeah, I can't even talk, spiritual connection, then, uh, then you start really listening more to the ego and that can be very dangerous. Uh, but I do have good news for you, <laughs> Pisces. It's not all doom and gloom. Uh, this is Shantae, your angel. And she says, I'm the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So there you go. Uh, just keep moving. Um, getting yourself out and um, removing yourself more off this physical plane so that you can see things. Uh, on, you know, get some clarity. Once you do that, once you start connecting to the spiritual beings around you and um, listening to that higher divine, um, you'll start getting a lot more clarity and the healing will continue to take place. So I hope this helps. I can't wait to see what's going on with you next week. But until then, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you would like to uh, receive more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. If you want your own uh, tarot reading, your own personal reading, please get in contact with me. All you have to do is scroll down to the box below. It has my website address and, and that website. When you're on my website, it will give you instructions on how to reach out to me. So in the meantime, I... Um, Look forward to seeing you next week, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Lots of healing. Bye-bye.